Spontaneous gun violence is defining millions of people's lives. People like Tyrone Flowers, who was born and raised around guns. No one expected me to be anything. My father was murdered when I was 10. People kept saying, you're gonna be dead or in jail, or you're gonna be dead like your father. At the age of seven, I went through three different foster homes. Then I was placed in a residential treatment facility. I ended up going through 15 stints in detention, eight different group homes. All people saw in me was my ability to play basketball. I went to high school, played basketball like I was told, and ended up excelling in basketball. And I was offered three full ride scholarships. Got on a bus to go celebrate with one of my friends. And on the bus was uh, the starting guard on my uh, basketball team. We had shared some words with one another. And I thought we were gonna fight, just getting a physical fight. I got off the bus thinking that was gonna be the case. We don't need no problems. Threw up my guards. And next thing I know, he put out a 357 Magnum. You calm down. Who you telling to relax, huh? Now who you telling to calm down, huh? And then it was boom. Those three bullets changed my life. I got a shot in my neck, which nicked my spinal cord, and I was instantly paralyzed. And I was shot in my hand, and I was shot in my leg. The tragedy of young men in this country and the very, very high homicide rates um, causes particular concern. Witnessing or being a victim of violence is one of the robust uh, risk factors. Guns and the presence of guns, poverty and the lack of opportunity is a risk factor. To handle business these days means going to get a gun and shooting people. If you don't give it, you know, how if you're justified and you don't fight, then somehow you're less. I wanted to punish the guy that put me in his wheelchair. Revenge. And so I struggled with that for two years, trying to plot a way that I can either kill him or put him in a wheelchair without getting incarcerated. There was a lot of pressure in the community to see us go at it. You know, I know you're gonna get him back. So I used to ask God, why me? Why did that have to happen this way? You know, it's not like I'm robbing people or selling drugs, and now you allow this to happen. So during that process of questioning God, I finally was able to forgive the guy that shot me. To this day, we are friends. I said to myself, I couldn't use my body to be successful anymore. I had to use my mind. And so at that time, I was just thinking, how can I escape poverty? Against all odds, Tyrone made his way into law school. And since graduating, he has established an internationally recognized not-for-profit that focuses on mentoring youth with the same challenges he once had. <laughs> 